Huh? Wait a minute. Who are you? <laughs> Who have we here? You say you're a Lumian trainer? Well, nice to meet you. I'm Broella, the witch. I'm not sure what you would bring someone like you to a nightmare like this, but I won't ask questions. Instead, I will teach you about this place. In particular, the haunted core maze. You see, I was recently traveling through the maze with a bag full of potions when I was attacked by that foul pumpkin. Oh, you mean the Nefermere? Well, I definitely was not scared. I had to pick up the pace in the opposite direction of the beast. And in the process, I dropped many of my potions in the maze. Hmm. Yeah, I would imagine that. I would... Definitely would have panicked. But what are my potions for, you ask? Well, they're for brewing, of course. With those potions, you can make just about anything. Oh, really? If you follow a recipe properly. I was going to brew up a spare key to let me into the gate that is guarding that spooky house on the hill. Oh, really? I even had the recipe pinned up ne next, next to my portable cauldron in the safe house within the maze. If we plan on going into that maze, would you do me a favor and help me brew that key? Oh, really? You need only find the right potions for each piece of the key, then assemble it when it's complete. The potions are scattered all over the maze. If you find one, you can carry it to a safe house for safekeeping. You'll only be able to carry one potion at a time, so be careful. Oh, that's the challenge. Once you have the potions you need, just select the right ones and drop them into the cauldron. That's pretty much everything you need to know. If you are able to forge the key, I'll let you go ahead and open the gate for me. However, if you decide to enter the property on the hill, whatever happens to you is not my fault. Yep, good to know. Thanks, Barella. And oh, I really love your hat. It's a wizard hat. Like me! like we have a challenge with, wouldn't you know it, Bruella the Witch. And can we talk to you again? Oh, how are things going in the, in the maze, Derry? Remember, if you want to brew something, you'll need to gather the potions need from the maze first. Be careful though, because you can only carry one potion with you at a time. That's right. Once you have a potion, bring it to the safe house to store it. After that, you need to select the potions from the shelf as listed by the recipe that I hung on the wall of the safe house. That's right. So, basically she gave us a quest concerning of a key that we can forge, and it says that it enters through the gate of the of the mansion. And I think this is what she was talking about. Yeah, this exactly. A large dock a large lock prevents this gate from opening. And oh I don't remember the pyramids being there. Okay, <laughs> Well, then again, we have, like, pyramids right here, which I thought are pretty cool, by the way. And it's also fitting because I've actually encountered my first pyramid right here. And what's this going to be? Oh, a piter. And yeah, I have been hunting through this. Uh, basically, I was hunting through the graveyard for some new Lumians, and I've managed to find two. Which are the variants of the Lumians that I've already caught. And I'll actually show you a clip for each one of them right now. Boom! We got a vampire Taoshi! Nice! Alright, so it is level 21, so let's bring out. Um, yeah, let's bring out Imp. Alright, Imp. Oh, scapegoat. 
Not a problem, just headbutt the scapegoat. And then, oh, ouch, uh, maybe just a little headbutt would suffice. And, oh, ouch. Okay, okay, there we go, there we go. Alright, we've encountered one of these before. Let's use the plane disc. Perfect! And, yep. Now it is a boy. Hmm. Track. Yep. Boom! A Tereidi! Nice! Um, so, what's good here? Okay, so... Plant-type moves aren't great. Uh, let's go with the standard headbutt. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's good. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna risk anymore. Let's catch it. So, if my thoughts are correct, Tereides, and I did catch one before, are metal types. So, I'm gonna use an alloy disc. Come on, Tereides, cooperate. Yes! Perfect! And yes, so it is a girl. Um, hmm, what could work? Oh wait, I have an idea. Calyp... Uh, Calypso. Yeah, Calypso. Nice! Yep, that's right! We've been able to catch... A Taoshi? A vampire Taoshi, that is. And we've also captured a pirate. What was it? A Tereidi. And yes, I've actually did catch a Tereidi. And although I don't have recording of it, it's basically like a standstill. And I wonder, where is it? It's just been a while since I've actually seen it. Oh, there it is. This is the original Tereidi. So, it's basically the paint robot, and they have a pirate version of it, right here, whom I actually named Calypso. Now, the reason why is because, basically, Calypso is indeed a pirate legend, and look, it's a pirate. Like, what more can you ask for? And also, we have Drac, the Tau- the Taoshi, the vampire Taoshi, to be exact, and I really love the model, like, it looks really cute. It looks like a proper vampire. And I think the normal one... Where did I keep the normal one? Oh, up here. I remember capturing Ty back in Atlantean City. So yeah, you can definitely see the difference in between the two. So with that out of my skin, I guess we have no other choice but to go into the corn maze. And yep, and assuming as to what she mentioned, we have to carry one at a time. I have a feeling this might take a while, so... Basically, we'll start off with seeing what potions are available, and also see the safe house. Now, I did mention this before in a previous episode, where... We hope for a place to hide from the Nevermare, and apparently the safe houses are a thing. In case you don't know, they're these small sheds that are found in the corn maze. Which, I'll show you where they are when I find one. And, oop, we have a potion right here. And, oh yeah. We could just carry them one at a time. So, all we need to do is find a storehouse. Or, or basically, the safe house. And, while we're at it, no! No! Oof. I was about to say, while we're at it, let's collect some candy corn. No, I've lost my potion! Okay, but at least I know what to do. So I'll skip ahead until I find the safe house, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oh! Oh, red potion. Oh, aha! Safe house. So, this is what I was talking about, and oop! Yep, we stored it up there, and wait, what's this? 
Ooh. So, wait. We have an eye, a bat wing, and a bone? Hmm. Alright, let's work with either the eye or the bat wing because we got a red potion. So, and, oh yeah. Basically, in case you don't know, these chests right here, they have the tendency to... How can I explain this? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Safe house. Don't want to get across the Nevermare. So, notice that the chest is shaking. I think that has... Was it an impkin? Where I got imp? Ooh, potion! Let's head back. Alright. Let's head back to where we were. And... Hopefully... So, what does that lead to? Oh, if we get one more blue potion, we'll get the eye. Alright, alright. So, one blue... One eyeball coming up. Assuming if we can find a blue potion. Huh? Oh, dude. I'm actually a little nervous as well, because... What would happen if we actually die by the cause? Whether it be through traps or through the Nevermare? Does that mean we lose our potions? You sound so close, the Nevermare! No! Oh, hopefully it doesn't turn, hopefully it doesn't turn. Please don't turn, please don't turn, please don't turn! Why is it so close? And I think I've heard two footsteps. That is not good. Like, I can hear two different Nevermares. And it sounds like they're both on this side of me. Just look out for... Ooh! Ooh! Yellow potion! Oh! Uh, no, 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 no! No! No, hurry, hurry! Get into the safe house! Into the safe house! Hurry, 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 hurry! Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so basically, in case if you don't know, we can run away from the Nevermare. Ooh! Wow, that... Ooh. Yeah, I do wonder, if we die, do we lose these potions? I hope not, because if that happens, I am going to cry. Like, ooh, that will be so discouraging. Oh, no! Well, it looks like we have one way to find out, because there you go. I died in the core maze. Please be there. If I lose all those potions... Oh, I'm gonna be so mad. And sad, really. Like... I do not want to have to go through the horrifying experience again. Alright, let's just... Oh, oh! Okay, here it is. Oh, they're still there. Okay, good. Oh, the chest is shaking. I don't want to touch it. Now, where are some of the other potions that I can grab? Oh, yellow potion! Yellow potion! Let's grab that. Let's take it back to the safe house. Now, where was the safe house? I'm pretty sure it was... Wasn't it around here? It sounds like I'm getting close to the Nevermare. Oh, apparently not, because that's a dead end. Oh! Oh! In here! Okay! Whew! Okay. That was close. So... We have... Two yellow potions, so we have the tendency to build the bone. No blue potions, though. Alright, let's keep searching. Okay. But at least we can save our progress. We just need to trace back our steps, that's what I worry about. Or, or find another safe house that we can walk in. Because, at the moment... Whew, it's a little discouraging, to be honest. And, uh... Please don't be around the corner, please don't be around the corner. Oh, it's just a person. <gasps> no! No! There it is! There it is! I, 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 I see the hues, I see the hues. Just stay back. Come on. Come on. There it is. I, 
I can see it. Wait, can we? Oh! Sorry! Sorry, miss! Uh, guess it's every man for himself. But yeah, you can allow others to distract the mayor. Or, or the nevermare, I should say. Ooh, perfect! We have a safe house right here. Alright, so two two green potions, one red potion, and two yellow potions. Alright. We're doing alright thus far. Still no blue potions. I wonder why. Okay, hurry, 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 hurry. Turn. Oh no. No, 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 no. Stay back. Stay back. Oh no! You caught me! No! I'm running away! Go, 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 go! No! man okay but at least i know that we have the potions oh yeah thank goodness for that oh we have a safe house at the start okay uh so basically if we get potions we can return back home <gasps> oh blue potion that's what i need so, basically... Ooh! Oh, so as soon as we enter into the gate, we put the potion down. Okay, I should have known that already, because I've done this with, like, five potions already. Okay, but at least we've got all the potions that we need for at least one of those ingredients. Let's see how many we can get in this run. Oh, I might digress. I think the Nevermare is close. Ooh! No! No, 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 no! Hurry, go, 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 go! Oh no, I went through a dead end! Okay. No, 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 no. Just turn around, turn around. Did, did I, where did it go? Okay. Yes, that is correct. You can run away from the Nevermare. Alright. Now. Oh, this, the chest is not shaking. Let's open it. Ooh! Fancy! Alright, so, how many... Hmm. Okay, let's start with the... Uh, yeah, let's start with the... Huh? Wait, what? So... What happens? Not a known recipe? Well, how do I... How do I mix the potions? Like... Seriously, it, do I need to like do this first and then just not unknown recipe? Well, what am I supposed to do? Like I have the ingredients If we grab one of those Oh, that's why okay, okay Basically Aha I need to gather more than one potion. That makes much more sense. It's not like put one ingredient in the pot. You need to grab all the ingredients and then mix them together. Okay, that's good to know. I was confused for a moment. And I do now have another question. If... Since I've mixed the ingredients and the bone is left there, will the bone stay there? That's the question. So, we do get another blue potion. Let's head back to base. And yes, I know I'm not going to reach the finish line like this, but at this case, we're not going for a finish line. We just want ingredients. And, wait. Oh! Oh, careful. No. Not now. Not now. Not now. No, 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 no. Where is home base? Oh, there's home base. All right. So, what can we do right now? Okay, so we can make the ice. So, if we do that, and then grab that, grab that, and then mix, we get the eye. Perfect. And now all we just need are three more red potions, and we should be good to go. Now, I think we're going to run out of time. 
But hey, at least we didn't get jumps. Uh, yeah, jump scared this time. Whew. So we'll wait till time runs out, and then we'll do this again. We just need three more red potions. Okay, guys, I've managed to find a red potion at the start, so which is basically like just around the corner around here. Now we just need to find a. Would you go away? I want to cross here. Thank you. Yeah, basically I need to find a safe house and just put this in. And, oh yeah, I just remembered. Will the ingredients still be there? Oh, they're, they're there. Okay, okay. So, just one more potion, one more red potion, and we're good to go. We just need to keep an eye out for that Nevermare. It's there. I think it's there. There it is! No! Okay, hurry, hurry. To the safe house. To the safe house. No! Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, go away. Oof. Okay, that chest is shaking, so we're not gonna open that. Really are putting me on my toes, Nevermare. I just want one red potion. Oh, okay, I got a yellow potion. It's not what I want, but we'll store it just in case. You may never know if these potions come in handy. So we just need to trace back our steps, which honestly, I don't like right now, because like, ooh, ooh, careful. Yeah, the... I think... Knowing that the... Candy corn's there... I don't think I went the right direction. So... Yeah. I can say it's officially... I am officially... Lost. Okay, can we switch potions? Oh, we can switch potions. Alright, uh... Okay, but at least I know where one potion is. I'm just trying to figure out where the safe house is. Like, I can only carry one potion at a time. That's just like what Burella's, uh, yeah, Bur Burella. Why is it so hard to say? Yeah, but yeah, this is exactly what Burella said. We can only carry one potion at a time. Where's the safe house? I'm gonna run out of time. Oh, safe house! Alright, so, what do we need? Oh yeah, red potion. Where can I find a red potion? Oh! Okay, so I'm at the starting point. Oh, there's sec seven seconds on the clock. And, oh, another safe house. But so far, no red potion. So I'll skip ahead till I find a red potion. Okay. We found a safe house. Oh, it's just shaking. Oh, it's not shaking. All right, what do we get? Oh, oh, Metronet. Yeah, that's right. I was trying to search for them. Like I know they're in the, in the graveyard, but I have a hard time finding them. But if they, if I actually find, if I find it in this episode, like, uh, I'll be happy. But also relieved, because finding Metro Nets, basically it makes finding the strawberry version of, what was it, the, ooh, what are they called, the Sorrels? Yeah, finding the strawberry version of the Sorrels is a lot easier than finding Metro Net. Wow, that's so hard to say. Like... Finding Metronet, I think to me, will be a relief. Like, finally, now I don't have to worry about searching for them anymore. Ooh, blow, blue potion, blue potion. Let's grab, ooh, careful, that was above a trap. I just saw it, barely, and, wait, why is there a trap inside the start? That doesn't seem very fair. 
Alright, so how many is that? Okay, so we can brew another eye if we want to. But I don't think that's going to be any wise. We just need a red potion. We need that wing. Oh, another blue potion. Um, well, we'll store it just in case. Because again, you may never know if the blue potion will actually help us in the future. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought that was a purple potion. I was, I was thinking, wait, there, there's purple potions now? No, that was just a lantern. Sorry, guys. And, oh, nice. We have another safe house. All right. Oh, we don't have a lot of time, though. I, I think that's your real main enemy out of all of these, other than the traps and the Nevermare, is time. Because, let's say if you actually found a potion, and yet your steps, like you're many steps away from the safe house. That's where trouble really kicks in. Ooh, 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 back up, back up, back up. It sounds close. Sounds like it's from over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like it's from over there. Right there, I think. Isn't it? Oh, oh, okay, so there's... Oh! Run, 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 run! Go, 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 go! To the safe house, to the safe house! Run! No! Oh! Dead end. Oh. I think that's really the problem, like... If you're normally trying to finish through the maze, like, you'll know where to go, just by following a simple rule. But this case? Nuh uh. You have to be certain and sure of your every step. Oof. But hey, I think that's what adds to the challenge. I actually love this idea. Well done, Llama Train Studios. Your creativity never fails. Whew. Wow, guys. I've searched around and I have not found another red potion. Like, are red potions really that hard to come across? Whew. Like, I, I know that all the other potions I probably don't need right now. But again... If they're willing to let us grab potions, I think there's something else up their sleeve. And I do not want to miss out on it. Oof. But where can I find a red potion? Oh, finally! Red potion! Come over here. And, oh! Oh, no, 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 no. I'll get to you later. First, let's store in this red potion. I don't want to lose it. There. Okay. Now, let's grab the yellow potion, just in case. You may never know if you need it. And wow, this is so easy to, to navigate. Oof. Alright. There. We got it all stored. So. Let's use a red potion. Let's use another red potion. Use a green potion. And then... Mix, and get the bat wink. Now, oh, craft. Oh, hey, out of the way. We got it. Okay. Okay, we got the key. We got the key. All right. Let's see if we can finish this maze first. Ooh, that took quite a bit. Like, having the... To find the red potion, the only one I needed to find? Boy, that really was a nightmare. Like, I think I was able to find all the other potions just fine. It's just that one that I had. Oh! Okay. Wow. Nevermere sounds really close. Is it just around the corner? Maybe it's just there, Nevermere. Ooh, nice. And ooh, not shaking. Ooh, another uh, bones key. Like, is that like for something else that I don't know about? Because if so, 
I think we're preparing ourselves for a new Lumion, supposedly. Oh, now we can find red potions. Oh! Whoops. Okay, but that's all right. We got the key. Hey, Bruella, I got the key. How are things going in the core maze, Derry? Remember, if you want to brew something, you'll need to gather the potions needed from the maze first. Be careful, though, because you can only carry one potion with you at a time. Yep, I know. Once you have a potion, bring it to a safe house to store it. After that, you need to select the potions from the shelf. From the shelf. Ooh, can't speak. As listed by the recipe that I hung on the wall of the safe house. Yeah, thank you. All right, let's check our items, and I assume it's under key items. Aha, mansion key. Yep. Oof, wow. Guys, talk about a uh, workout. Oof. Now that we got the, the mansion key, we can go open the gate. But before we do that, let's check out our team. Hmm. Hold on. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, we made it. So yes, I brought Muta with me. And, oh, use the mansion key. I'll unlock it. And what do we have in here? Okay, is this safe to walk around in? I think it is. Alright, yeah, it's safe to walk around in. So we have all these pyramids. Can you re-interact with the... Oh, what? Whoa! Ouch! What was that? Okay. Hold on. Let's... Oh, no! Oof. Hold on. That caught me by surprise. Did, did the door just kick me away? Hold on. Hold on. Oof. Oh, my heart. I think I got a heart attack out of that. Hold on, so... We knocked on the door. What does it do? It just chucks us down all the way to the bottom. Yikes! Okay, so the... Oh, we can encounter things here. Okay, so... I just crossed the gate, and I've encountered a slugling, so... There are things here, we just need to be really careful. And... Oh, what are the people doing around this thing? Uh... This actually looks really cool, I, I really like it. Can we interact with it? Oh, I think we could. Oh, I think we could. Hold on. So, we have our team. Although, I don't know if it's a well-balanced team. Uh, Alright, how are our discs? Yeah, we have plenty. And oh, skeleton discs. It is as good as a captured wild Lumions as a hyper disc. Okay, that's good. A special type of capture disc. It's good at capturing Metronet. That's right. Oh, I still have a hard time trying to find Metronet. Yeah, hold on. I think that's a new Lumion. And I want to prepare my catching team. Okay, guys, I set it up my capture team, so let's interact with this gargoyle. Alright, let's see what happens. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Gargolem? Okay, that was unexpected. So, we don't have very effective moves here. But I think Muta's going to take it out, so let's switch with something a little bit uh, on the smaller scale, so to speak. Alright, Ariel. Let's use a... <gasps> Youch! Mudslide? Alright, so it's Earth-type. Oh, no! Oof. Okay, so electric types are not good here. Uh, let's go with Trike. Okay, Trike. Let's see what you got. Accelerate. So, what do we have? Okay, so, yeah, plant types are good here, so it has to be Earth-type. Uh... Oh dear. 
I just realized. I don't know if I have anything, like, um, extremely alright. Oh, I don't want to knock it out. Uh, hold on. What else do we have? Uh... Oh, I don't know. Oof. Alright, well, we'll go with Trike for now. Let's just do a Primal Slash. Alright. Primal Slash. Now... Oh, oh, oh! Perfect! Thanks, Trike. Alright. We'll leave it at that. And, uh... Yeah, I think it's an Earth Tripe. Yeah, oof, why did I say Tripe? I mean Earth Type. Let's use a Terror Disc. Okay, Gargolem. Let's see if you are willing to cooperate. What? Oh man. Oh yeah, I am pretty sure that it's Earth Type, so I'll keep Trike in the mix. Let's try that again. So, Terror Disc, go. What? Not even close? Ooh, Tamp. Wow, this is actually really cool looking. I really like it. Um, Alright, so, Terror Discs? I'm pretty sure Terror Discs work. What do I need? A, a Draft Disc, maybe? It has wings. That doesn't work either? It's so low on health and energy. How is it not working? Alright, I'm doing this again. Terror Disc, come on. Come on now. Not even close. Ah, fine. Um, we'll try something stronger. So, we did get a couple of Skeleton Discs. Let's use one. It actually looks quite fitting, actually. Come on. What? Wow, the Gargolem is... It's not getting around here. Like... What am I supposed to do? Uh... Let's go with the other skeleton disc. I might regret this, but... I don't know what else to do. Nuts. But yeah, I am not hitting the Gargoyle again, because I am going to knock it out. I'm just going to use whatever capture discs that I have available, and that's, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'll skip ahead until I capture it. Okay, let's its guard down to rest. Let's use it. Come on. It lets its guard down. This should work. Finally! Oof! After quite a bit of time. Although, I think there are some that I had longer than others, like the... Ooh. Oh, it is pretty small. But that's alright. Uh, so, yeah, Earth and Air. Um, yep, I'm satisfied. Uh-huh. Like to save the game? Sure. And, yeah, nickname. So, I don't think it had any gender, so... Let's think of a good name for a gargoyle. Or a gargolem, I should say. Hmm. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Sentinel. Yeah, Sentinel... It's the name. And, oh! Ooh! A new set of recipes! What's this for? Oh yeah, I knew those potions will come in handy. And yes, I captured one. Wonderful! And, ooh! Level Trainer 8, and I got more gummies. That's good. And a few extra levels to spare. Oof. Wow, I liked that. That was so amazing. And 
Isn't there something in the mansion that I need to worry about? Like, why does it kick me out like that? Is there something that I don't know about? What's in there? Oh! Oh, oh I think I got a faint glimpse of it. Was that Metronet? Because if so, if that's where I need to get Metronet, well, I need to stay clear of the door. Like, I, I think that'll be a good spot for Metronet to spawn, rather than trying to hunt for them, like, all the time. Whew. The hunt was crazy. Alright, let's heal up all our Lumians. That's it. Heal up. We need all the help we can get. And uh, let's let's bring Sentinel out. So here he is. An Earth and Air. Ooh, he sounds so cool. And look at the model. I really love it. So immunize. It's immune. It's immune to status ailments. Ooh, fancy. All right. Sorry, Muta. Let's check him out. And. Ooh, 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 ooh. Doesn't know what to think of me. That's all right. But wow, that is so cool. Hey, Bruella, what do you think? How are things going in the maze? Well, I've already done the maze. One potion at a time. After that, select the potions. Really safe the wall house. Okay, that's really cool. Now I do question: Has the shop changed? Because we caught, we captured Gargolum. So far, nothing has changed. What is this one, though? I don't know. I think it has to deal with the Metronet, because so far, I did not capture Metronet yet. Like, I've been hunting this day after day. So far, nothing. Oh, while we're at it, let's check out Sentinel. Alright, so what can he do? Oh, Airblade. Airblade can work here. Let's take a look. Ooh, knocked out the brooch! Nice! Wow. I don't know if I have a lot of air or earth types, if that makes sense. Like, do I have other earth types? I don't really know. Oh, oh no, yes I do. I have the... What was it? It was up here somewhere. Oh, here. I have this. Yeah, Nigel, the Rakowa. The Rakowa. Ooh, that's hard to pronounce. And are there any other Earth types that I got? No, I think that's really the only Earth type that I got, apart from a Sentinel up here. Wow, that's a lot to take in. So I guess that'll be it for this episode concerning of Lumion Legacy. Like, what do you think of Gargolem? Like, I really love him. Look at him. He's like an actual dragon. Although he's not really like ancient type, which I think is typical for dragons. Like, come on. Look at it. It looks so cool. And I think, yeah, we look so much alike. Look, the ears and the, the nose and the horns. Wow, what more could you ask for? So yes, that'll be it for this episode concerning of... Uh... Yeah, Lumion Legacy. I don't know why it slipped my mind. So remember, if you enjoy it, feel free to leave a like, and consider joining our Adventure Clan by subscribing. In the next episode, we are going to be brewing whatever the new recipe was. I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you so much for watching, and of course, feel free to join me on our next adventure. Till then... This is Drago Questy. See you later!